Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Pacific Drive, shall we? I've been hearing a good bit about this game, and I saw some screenshots, it looks awesome. I can't wait to dive in and drive a station wagon around in order to survive. Alright, so we're going to go brand new game. Uh, let's fire it up. Would you like to customize your settings? I already did most of this, so I think we're good. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creations spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural occurrences. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. Yikes. What happened inside was never disclosed. Party time, probably. Utopia. Alright, I got a shipping manifest, I need to stay on the road, alright, and let's see here, I can move my head around, alright, and drive the car like you would expect, alright, here we go. All right, sweet. Yep, we are definitely in the Pacific Northwest. Look at these awesome redwoods, coniferous dream boats out here. Road's a little rough. All right, I guess I keep going. Oh, boy. I do need to toggle my wipers. You might have to bang wow. Bang me. Looks like the wall up there of the exclusion zone, perhaps? game's got a really serious feel to it. I like it. I do like station wagons. Uh-huh. Alright. The driving seems pretty reasonable. Like, in the sense that it's not super unforgiving. I kind of had to coast to a stop and hit that guardrail, and I didn't see any massive damage indicators. All right, turn on the old headlights. God, driving through a tunnel in here is scary. Yikes. Ah, it's getting a little choppy here. Alright. Warning, huh? Oh. 
Now, wait a minute. Caution. Uh, maybe I went the wrong way. Is there a right way? I mean, I can off-road it, I guess. Yeah, okay, this is fine. Ah, the old dirt road along the barbed wire fence. Fantastic. Feel good about this. Oh, it's a little bumpy. Uh, something happened back there. I'm not sure what I saw. Oh. Kind of hit the edge there. Uh, there's something strange going on with reality. That's not what you hope for when you're driving your wagon around. Can I turn off my wipes? Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah, there it goes. Just kind of peeling away. Just another day in the old wagon. All right. Oh, no. Not this again. My lights don't work. The car doesn't work. Uh. Oh. Oh. Just one of these regular vortexes. I've come to know and love them. I like that the loading indicator is a stylized station wagon icon. Charming. Okay. Getting kind of like some Death Stranding vibes here. It's tough to be a courier, huh? All right, there's my tire. Uh, the Olympic exclusion zone. Get to safety. Oh boy, I'm out of the wagon. I don't feel good. Uh, sprint, all right. Oh my God, each bit and piece of my, my car has been ripped apart. Well, yeah, you, you don't like to see it. When you say get to safety and find trans... Okay, this looks good over here. I don't know what you mean, but... I'm just going to run into this lit area that says caution, because I like it. And uh, we can crouch. Okay, cool. I am playing on a controller, by the way. Alright, I jumped. I jumped again. Alright. Uh, yeah. I could kick it. I kicked it. You know, the visuals are really interesting. They're very good. Um, it's like a kind of an interesting mix between realism and, you know, cartoon texture. A little bit like The Outer Wilds, perhaps. It's me. Up this piece of junk years ago. Tobias? Look at this. Yes. So maybe at the beginning I wasn't in a station wagon. I was just in a normal car that could be easily destroyed by, you know, temporal wormholes or whatever that was. And this baby, if we can fix it up, now we're going to have a real car. So it says put the wheel back on. So I kind of raced right ahead to the car. Here's a wheel. Okay, you hold right bumper. I've picked it up. And we can install it with right trigger. Install a summer tire. It's good in the summertime. Um, get in the car. Sure, get in. Okay. Start the engine. I got a compass. I did it. I turned the key. Oh, put the car in drive. Yes.
interferometer? Francis? What are we talking about here, Francine? Hey, we got a live one. Hey, do you copy? Um, do Hello? I copy? Hello? Is this thing working? Do I have a radio? They, they, they don't have a transmitter. Oh, I we don't. Hear a thing back. Huh. What if they're stranded? Could they, I mean, they're, they're from outside? They're a preacher. Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. The closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. I'm beef in the blender. Alright. So, we need to drive east to find shelter. Uh, I think I've run out of gas. Yeah, time to siphon some fuel. Alright, let me turn this baby. Well, it's already off. Let me put it into park here. Get out. You know, there's nothing like siphoning gasoline to really feel like you're having a great day. So check your trunk for a fuel can. I will. Ooh, ooh. Um, my trunk has seen better days. It's big. It's spacious. Can I check this trunk to find a fuel can? <laughs> Uh, maybe I'm not doing it right. Let me look at the, the trunk one more time. Uh, no. Alright. I mean, I could get in, I guess. Uh, maybe I popped the trunk? Is there a trunk release? Ah, oh, there's some sweet controls. No, 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 no. I think I need to go explore. Alright, what you got? Uh, you got... You're broken. I don't see any cars over there. Oh. Okay. I'm... It's glowing. I'm just moronical. I didn't expect the fuel can to be up high. I kind of like... Anyway, that was my own fault for being dumb. Okay. So it's up there, if you're looking for it. And then siphon fuel from the broken down car. Alright, let's siphon it. Oh, they have a pump. I was hoping to do this with my mouth. The safe way. With a hose. Okay. Um, and we need to fill our own tank. Boy, this wagon needs some serious work. All right. There it goes. I'm filling it. All right, let me put this baby back. All right, so now I know where it is when I need it the most. And uh, we need to get in. There's something happening here. Here, uh, go ahead and put it in drive and then uh, turn on the car. Let's go. I don't know if we need the wipies, but I'll turn on the lights. I'm sure that'll help. Uh, it's getting a little bad out here.
I'm driving south. But this has got to be the right way. Or at least I hope so. I broke your fence. Uh, Alright, we don't want to... Well, looks like there is something over that way. I'll go this way, sure. Anybody over here? Oppie's Auto Shop. Well, great. Can I drive down here? Find a way into the building. Alright, I will. You bet I will. Put it in park. Turn it off. Open. I don't want to use any extra gas if I don't have to. Alright. You know what? I don't know. There's something about the gravity of the game. The cryptic but interesting story. You get some like X-Files... You know, because it's in the Pacific Northwest, there's, I guess, a bit of Twin Peaks. And then I'm getting some vibes of, uh, yeah, Death Stranding, but also kind of like, you know, the Outer Wilds and the Long Dark. Just a lot of cool games are blending in my mind as I experience this. All right, open this. Ah, nothing like a red light. Uh, okay, some soda. Cool computer. Off on... Rocket Cola. That's what I love. Is that old Rocket Cola? Flip the breaker. Pick up the backpack from the table. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I'm going to shop. Oh, God, it's been breached. You've got five seconds to get the hell out before I. Oh, oh my head. <laughs> Whoa. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We sent a breacher to your garage on um, uh, official zone business. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car and, well, uh... Oh. Get off the remnant thing. She's not going to care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super official zone business. Protocol, uh demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written. That's 10 years and 17 volumes and... Oh, God, that voice is like a nail gun to the skull. It is. So, <sighs> another breacher, huh? How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300-meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait, I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. It's not very kind. Ah, oh, God, unfortunately... The barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. Okay. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Okay. Um, alright. So I picked up the goggles which act as a heads-up display. So you could see in the upper left I've got some, looks like health, radiation distance to travel in a car or distance I'm facing and oh that's distance from my car I guess that's important in the upper right I got my quest and I have some items hot barred and I can kick with X so let's go back to the car and do like they say so I've been playing some other games recently and you know they have their early access they have some jank in their tutorial this game so far does not if it tells you to do something you do exactly that and it's glowing and it tells so you know what to do so i like that all right i'm gonna grab the wheel and i'll put it back on to uh, fell off got it and we need to drive into the shop so now I could see, like, the durability of my door, for example, uh, which is sweet. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it in drive and flip it on. And then get this baby back. And drive it into the shop. So you can push R3 to zoom in. It doesn't appear, at least in... You can honk. As far as I notice, that you can go to a third-person view, like Grand Theft, Theft Auto-style driving. Which, you know, adds to the realism of the driving, and that's fine. It's only first-person. All right, let's get in here. Got it. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Put it in park. Open the door. It's in. Uh, craft a replacement door. Add to your list. Crude door. Open the headset. <laughs> now it feels a little bit like... With the font and the... You know, the battered vehicle. Like hard space shipbreaker kind of. Alright, let's see here. I need to... Add to my to-do list. Crude door. Alright. Open headset. Alright. Blueprints, I guess, are right over here. Yes. Crude door. Alright, you see it down here. And... Cool. This is a really interesting UI. Look at that ASCII drill and pliers over on the right. That's awesome. This weary, flimsy piece of oxidized metal will both open and close. It will also keep out the wind and the rain. It just barely meets every technical specification required <laughs> to be a door. That's fantastic. So I'm going to pin it to my checklist by pushing Y. And now I have one thing there. Gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage for your checklist. Search the abandoned car's trunk. So over here on the left side of the heads-up display, you can see... Looks like I need two glass, two bolts, four straws and three screws four drinks and plastic i don't know what that is anyway um let's do it and we will why do you want me to open the headset thing again i don't think i need it do i All right. Anyway. Uh, okay. Gather items from the abandoned car. I need a pry bar. Search the abandoned car's trunk. Search the toolbox by the garage for a pry bar. Okay. So I need a pry bar. And you can see there's a nice little indicator. So I just open this up. Looks like there's... Mechanics kit, a pry bar, and some duct tape over here. All right, so I will um, transfer, transfer, transfer. I took it all of it. And open inventory. Okay. And pry bar, assign quick slot. All right. And I can uh, pry this up using right trigger. Got it. Great. All right, here's what's in the trunk. Um, road flare. And another road flare. Take it. All right. And it says gather items from... The abandoned car behind the garage. Search the dumpster by the garage door for crucial items you're unable to craft. All right, search it. Friendly dumpster. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, my God. It exploded. Should that be happening? Have I been injured? Uh, scratch, uh, scrap the abandoned car's wheels, panels, and doors. Okay. Okay. So, to scrap it, what do I do? Just right trigger? Uh, oh, what's all this stuff? 
Scrapper. Oh. Derp. Okay. Great. Just gonna hold it. Looks like I had to, uh, maybe I couldn't pick up the stuff because I had those flares. But now I have, over here on my backpack, I got some other stuff. I should be able to pick these guys up. I didn't mean to use flares, but here we go. I got a scrapper. Sweet. So this is like, you know, space engineers. All right, let's go ahead and tap this thing. I scrapped it. Sweet. Scrap it. I'm grabbing everything. Actually, I'm pretty good on most stuff here. Fuel tank. Scrap it. I'm probably not supposed to scrap that. It might have some fuel I can... Um... Fuel that I could actually siphon. Alright. Getting the steel door here. Break it up. Okay, sweet. And looks like I need this panel off. I'll scrap it all. I don't care. Plastic. There we go. So the picture of the big gulp means plastic. Alright, great. Yeah, it didn't make sense that straws would be used for a door, but hey, what do I know about auto mechanic work? Alright, um, now we can go craft a crude door in the shop. Alright, let's do that. Let's craft it. Alright, so I'm going to use the workbench. And we need to make a crude door. It's right here. So I'm going to craft it. Did it. Now I'm holding it. Install the crude door. Looks like I could fit it on a bunch of places here. All right, how about right here? I put it on there. Lock. Uh, get the re repair putty from the locker. Okay. Uh, open this up. And this is repair putty here, so we'll take it. And this is a spare tire. This is a first aid kit. And these are some chemicals. Can I take that? Good. I took that. I can't really fit the tire at the moment. Open inventory. Uh, do I just, you know, equip it? For now, I guess. Use this to repair the car. Alright. Yep. Just slop some on there. We've got some problems with bits of this vehicle here. Alright, I mean, it's looking better-ish. Ninety-eight percent. I guess that wasn't structural, but we did it. Fix the flat tire. Alright, so we need to scan it with L... Uh, okay. So, with left bumper, we scanned it. Uh, repair the flat by crafting and using a sealing kit, or replace the flat with the spare tire found in the locker. Right. So, a sealing kit... Let me see where that would be. Sealing kit is here. Uh, Alright, let's craft it. Doesn't take that much. And then... I did that. Fix the loose wheel. Scan the loose wheel. And equip the mechanics kit. Okay. So the mechanics kit I got in my inventory. 
and we'll just go ahead and equip it and I'll use it I hit it with a wrench now it's good all right outfit the car install cardboard boxes in the trunk okay I guess so we can hold stuff makes sense Bam. Install craft mat in the trunk. Okay. Oh, maybe I can craft. It's like a portable base. Sick. Install oh, arc device. There's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. All right. Arc device. Oh, nice. I got this beauty it. won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Thank you. Pick up the gear blueprint by the front garage door. All right, let me close the old door there. What you got for me? Oh, blueprints, okay. And I learned how to make a gear. Pick up the impact hammer blueprint. Yep, get that. Nothing like a good impact hammer. I love the screen when you read the blueprint. That's pretty sweet. And fill the pump to fill the fuel tank. Okay. Use the pump to fill it. Oh, right, right, right. right. I got gotcha. you. Um. Oh, no. I didn't even need to use my little can. I can just go over here and fill it up. Can I top off my can, though? Yeah, what I want is, uh, here, I wonder if I put that back there. Can I grab this and then top off my can? Heck yeah, I can. I'm topping it off. I'm taking all of her gas. Ding. Hang it back up. Throw the switch to charge the battery. Bam. Bam. Manual. Planning a drive. Sweet. All right. So we need to plan a route. Select a destination using a map on the wall and uh, go dumpster diving and see what you can find. Awesome. Well, how about this game, everybody? This seems really, really cool so far. Uh, it is an extremely polished, interesting game, and I'm really excited to see more of it i'd love to know what you guys think of pacific drive so far have you played the demo are you interested in checking this game out i uh, was able to get a copy a little bit earlier to make some content and i would love to know if you guys think about buying this game are you planning on that have you seen other people play it what are your thoughts and impressions of pacific drive so far do you want to see more let me know in the comments below, and I will check you guys in the next one. Take care.